Today I will recap a 2022 Indonesian horror film named The Woman in the Red Dress. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the movie, we see Dinda and Kara getting ready to go to the club. Kara tells Dinda that her birthday is about to come and asks what gift she wants for her birthday. Only then the doorbell rings and their friends also come there, but they say that they will drink there. Dinda says she thought they were going just with Rosa and her boyfriend Jerry. Kara tells her that they are all Jerry's friends and then they all start partying. Now after some time, Dinda goes to the washroom drunk where a friend of Jerry's starts sexually assaulting her, but Dinda pushes him away and comes out looking for Kara and when she doesn't find her, she leaves there. Now the next day, when Kara's mother Lydia returns home, she finds the door to the house open and the leftovers from the night's party lying on the table. She searches for her everywhere in the house but does not find her anywhere, and the condition of the house was also messed up. She then calls Dinda and tells her that Kara is not home and asks her what were they doing there last night, and how did her apartment get this messed up. Dinda says she doesn't know and lets her try to find out what happened. Now a month passes since Kara disappeared, and one day Kara's boyfriend Putra meets Dinda. He asks her does she think there is still hope, and what they guys really did that night. She angrily says she has explained everything to the police and then leaves there. On the other hand, Kara's mother visits medium Wong and asks her about Kara. Wong makes her do some rituals and then checks and tells her that her daughter is dead. The next day, Dinda visits Kara's home and Lydia asks her to get the teacup in the kitchen for her. Now when Dinda goes to the kitchen, she finds the water in the kitchen tap is stinky. She then comes out with a cup and sees that Kara's mother is putting incense sticks in front of her photo. Dinda says they don't know what really happened to Kara, to which she says she knows. She then begs her to tell her where Kara is and she is ready for the truth. She just wants her to rest in peace. Dinda says if she knew, why would she not tell her, after which Kara's mother angrily goes inside with a knife. Dinda then goes to her room to say sorry. However, she gets terrified seeing Lydia there saying Wisnu, Jerry, Marco, Rosa, and especially she must know where her daughter is and this is all her fault. Dinda flees there promising that she will look for Kara and find her, and the door shuts on its own. Now on the way back, the medium asks her what's wrong with her friend. Dinda asks her which friend, to which she says the one next to her. Dinda says she is not with anyone and do not try to scare her. However, when she leaves, we see Kara's reflection in the glass. Later that night, Wisnu hears some noise in his building, and when he enters the elevator, he sees a girl in a red dress standing outside. The elevator stops at the sixth floor and that ghost tries to attack him, but he manages to close the door. However, we see that ghost behind him, and as he tries to flee, she grabs his foot and drags him in. His head then gets stuck in the door, and the elevator starts moving, due to which he dies. We then see Dinda in her bathroom, where she notices Ari and asks him why he is taking a bath this early. But then Ari knocks on the door from outside and asks her to hurry up as he is getting late for school. Now Dinda gets terrified seeing that it's not Ari but Kara's ghost, and she rushes out of the bathroom. Later, Ari asks her what happened to her earlier, to which she says it was nothing and she is totally fine. He tells her that Granny is staring at them, to which Dinda asks him to ignore her and lets go. Dinda goes ahead but sees Ari standing near Granny, and then she takes him from there. Ari gives a paper to Dinda and says that it is given by Granny for her, to which she asks him to throw it away and don't keep it. Only then she receives that video of Wisnu and their friend group, and she gets terrified seeing it. Later, she shows that clip to Putra and tells him that there is someone there, but he says this can be anything. She then tells him that Kara came to her last night, to which he gets shocked and asks her does she think this is Kara's ghost and she killed Wisnu. Dinda asks him to believe her because she needs his help to find Kara. Putra says even the police can't find her until now, so what can they do? Hearing this, Dinda says she came to him because she thought he cared about Kara. But if he doesn't want to do it, she will do it herself. Later, Putra shows that video to the group and discusses with them what Dinda told him, to which Marco says if it was Kara, what did Wisnu do to deserve it? Dinda says they should have known better and something must have happened to Kara that night. Rosa says she and Jerry left after her, and Putra asks Jerry if didn't he state in the police report that Kara was with Wisnu. Rosa asks Dinda what makes her think it was Kara, to which she says she went to see Kara's mom yesterday and saw her holding a ceremony for her, and after that, she saw Kara as a ghost in her flat. Marco leaves quietly, and Dinda asks if she is really dead. To which Jerry says he doesn't care and it's not his problem and leaves there with Rosa. However, Rosa asks him if could she stay at his house tonight. To which he agrees. Now that evening when Dinda returns home, she notices someone standing in the corridor. Meanwhile, Rosa asks Jerry does he think Dinda has a point. To which he says he doesn't want to get involved and it has nothing to do with them. Rosa says she still can't believe that Wisnu could do that to Dinda and also Marco. Jerry yells at her and asks her to stop, and suddenly Kara's ghost collides with their car, due to which both of them get very scared. 
They come out to check but find no one there, but then Jerry's attention turns to the ghost of Kara, who gets up and turns towards him, and then charges at him. Jerry gets terrified and drives away from there with Rosa, but only then he gets a call from Rosa, who tells him that he left her there. Jerry then realizes that it's that ghost with him in the car, and when he tries to escape, he gets hit by another car and dies on the spot. On the other hand, Ari was not able to sleep as he was getting disturbed by her neighbor's voices, so he goes there to tell her that she is too loud. The girl tells him to go home, and while he is going towards his flat, he notices that ghost chasing him. Ari gets terrified and asks Dinda to open the door, and when the ghost charges at him, he runs away from there and hides at a place. Dinda then comes out, and Ari pushes her in, and locks the door, but when he turns, he gets attacked by the ghost. Dinda wakes up hearing his scream and finds him falling in front of her. She goes to him and asks him what happened, but only then someone knocks on their door. She finds Rosa at the door, who begins crying hugging her. Rosa asks her what did Jerry do wrong, and who is going to be next. Now the next day they all meet Medium 1, but Marco is not with them and his phone is also inactive. They shows Kara's photo to her, and they get shocked to know that Medium already knows her. She tells them about Hong Gui, a woman who commits suicide in a red dress so her spirit can come back for revenge, and she will never stop until her revenge is fulfilled. They must find Kara's dead body soon, or each one of them will die. Dinda says they don't know where else to look, to which she says she can't help them find Kara, but they can ask her. She then asks them who among them was the closest to her, and Dinda says it's her. She then performs a ritual and mediums asks Dinda to call Kara's name. After a while, some paranormal activities begin happening there, and suddenly Rosa, Putra, and Granny disappear from there. Now Dinda has a vision, in which she sees someone sexually assaulting Kara and she is calling Dinda for help. She then falls into the water and keeps on calling Dinda for help, and it seems someone locking her in a water tank. Now when Dinda comes to her senses, she hears a growl and suddenly the possessed Wong jumps on her, but Putra saves her. Wong then grabs a broken piece of glass, and when Rosa tries to escape, she grabs her and breaks her foot. She then begins stabbing her with that glass, but Dinda hits her with a vase to save Rosa and Wong disappear from there. Only then does Rosa sees that Wong is right above Dinda, and she jumps on her. Dinda falls back to save herself, and Wong tells her that what all of she seeks is where it all started. She then suddenly attacks her and tries to strangle her, and when Putra hits her with a chair, she tries to attack him too but falls out off the balcony. Rosa and Wong are then taken to the hospital. They then visit Kara's apartment and find Lydia's dead body hanging in a room, and they realize that it was Lydia's ghost haunting them. After this, they get her cremated with all the rituals. Later, Putra again asks Dinda what actually happened that night, to which she tells him that they were drinking at her apartment before their plan to go to the club. Things started to get blurry for her, so she went to the washroom, where Wisnu tried to sexually assault her, but she manages to escape from there, and she hasn't seen her ever since that night. Putra asks her did she saw Kara when she left the apartment, and could she have been with Marco? Now Dinda remembers that before going to the washroom, she saw Kara falling over Marco, and when she came back, Kara was not there. She tells Putra that last night at Wang's place, she saw Kara, and she could feel what she was going through. Now here she sees the complete vision and tells Putra that she saw Kara being raped by Marco. Later, Putra tells Dinda that he wants her to forget everything that happened that night, and he will put an end to this himself, to which she says they are in this together. On the other hand, Rosa gets terrified seeing that she is getting a call from Kara, after which her bed begins raising, and then Lydia's ghost appears there and kills her by breaking her back. Meanwhile, the ghost attacks Dinda as well and tries to kill her by drowning her, however, she notices that Ari is possessed, and she pushes him and comes out of the bathtub. Ari then again tries to attack her, but she manages to control him. She then calls Putra and tells him that it's not over and that they will all die if they don't find Kara. Only then she notices the water dripping from the tap, and she tells him that she thinks she knows where Kara is, and asks him to meet her at Kara's apartment. Dinda then reaches Kara's apartment, where she checks the tap, and finds hair coming out of it. She then notices a strange mark on the kitchen ceiling. She rushes to the rooftop and finds a huge water tank there, and when she opens it, she finds Kara's dead body inside it. Meanwhile, Putra also reaches there, and she tells him that Kara is here. But only then she finds Putra's locket in Kara's hand, and then Putra attacks her and she falls into the water tank. She asks him why he is doing this, but he closes the hatch, and she screams to open it. She then says sorry to Kara, and then Kara turns towards her and the screen goes black. Kara shows her a vision, in which we see that Putra came to Kara's apartment after Dinda left and found Wisnu sleeping in her room. He goes to the washroom, where Kara asks him to help her, but he angrily pushes her, which hits her head in the bathtub, and she dies in front of him. Dinda then asks Putra to open the hatch, but he says it's too late, and it should not have been like this. He felt that Kara had betrayed him, on which Dinda tries to explain to him that Kara could never do such a thing. 
Only then Marco comes there and asks Putra not to do this and open the hatch. But he comes down and says he did this because he raped his girlfriend. Now when he starts going to rescue Dinda, Putra asks him if he wants Dinda to send him to jail. But Dinda reveals that Putra killed Kara and set him up. We then in a flashback see that, Putra had laid Kara's dead body next to Wisnu and blamed him for her death. Wisnu was very scared, and Putra told him that if he were him, he would get rid of her body right now, after which both together put her dead body in the water tank. Knowing this, Marco gets very angry and he starts beating Putra, but he does not kill him, and when he goes to save Dinda, Putra kills him by throwing him down from there. Now when he goes to dispose of Marco's body, the water tank starts shaking violently and then falls down. Dinda then comes out of it, with Kara's spirit inside her, and when Putra tries to flee from there, she breaks his leg. She then grabs a knife and stabs him with it, and he begs her not to kill him, but as soon as he gets a chance, he stabs Dinda. Dinda falls down, and when Putra tries to kill her, Kara's ghost approaches him from behind and clings to him. She then takes him away with her and falls off the roof with him. Now Dinda gets Kara's last rites done and keeps her ashes with her mother, and the movie ends here. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.